Kate, good evening. We are at the epicenter here. Behind me is that Robert E. Lee statue that's been a part of this. The FBI and the Department of Justice are now launching civil rights investigations into that woman's death. Most of the white supremacists seem to have left town today, but there was that violent altercation when their leader or one of their leaders tried to hold a news conference. 24 hours after violence tore through the heart of Charlottesville, police snipers were on the roof today as Unite the Right protest leader Jason Kessler tried to lay blame for Saturday's violence. What happened yesterday was the result of the Charlottesville police officers refusing to do their job. But hundreds of people shouted him down. Suddenly, the crowd surged, chasing Kessler from the microphone, hitting and eventually tackling him before police moved in. Ultimately, Kessler had to run behind a police line to escape the counter protesters. Today, we learned the identity of the woman who was killed Saturday when a driver plowed through a crowd of counter protesters, sending bodies flying. 32 year old Heather Heyer, a local paralegal, her mother devastated. I'm trying to honor my daughter and I, the way that I know she would want to be honored with speaking up for what she believed in and, and in the way she believed in it, without hate, without anger, without fear. The alleged driver, 20-year-old Alex Fields of Ohio, is charged with second-degree murder. His mother claims she didn't know where he was going this weekend. I just knew he was going to a rally. I, I mean, you know, I'm, I tried to stay out of his political views. But a former high school teacher says Fields had white supremacist leanings. He thought the Nazis were great and what Hitler did was great. On Saturday, the KKK, white nationalists and neo-Nazis clashing with anti-white nationalist groups in Charlottesville. That is a militia group out of New York. Look at the weapons they're carrying. Today, Virginia's governor laid some of the blame on divisive rhetoric from the president himself. And I told the president this yesterday. It's got to stop. And uh, they've got to stop this rhetoric. They've got to stop the attacks on individuals. We've got to work together. Virginia is also grieving the loss of state troopers Burke Bates and Jay Cullen, who died when their police helicopter crashed. The governor knew both men personally. Going over to the family yesterday and seeing those two young children breaks your heart. These people are responsible. Walking the mall in Charlottesville, Chuck Morgan, born and raised here, was near tears today. Having these hate mongers come to my city just it broke my heart it really did one sentiment you hear a lot here is anger that these white nationalists have been marching under flags the nazi flag for one that americans have died fighting against but observers say that both sides came looking for a fight to this thing by the way one suspect today arrested misdemeanor charges for assault on mr kessler in addition we know now that alex fields that 20 year old driver will be in court tomorrow kate tom costello in charlottesville tom thank you